This video demonstrates the typical bike fit process at the Retool Studios. Today we're at the Retool's TSL, the top secret laboratory where the final assembly and testing of the 3D motion capture system takes place. The boys from the Garmin Chipotle presented by H3O Pro Cycling Team are in town this week doing their fit camp and currently are going through the process of being retooled. The bike fit at the Retool Studios generally starts with an interview style dialogue between the fitter and the rider. A series of questions about riding style, goals, past and or current pain or injuries are discussed both on and off the bike. Also included is a table exam which assesses factors such as leg length discrepancies and flexibility. With the marker set actually on the rider and using a true 3D spatial model to see the rider's real-time biomechanical data, fitters using the retool can see information about the rider's pedal stroke that they have never before been able to accurately quantify. Wow, he, he's still at 28 degrees at the bottom, yeah. normal plantar flexion, pretty good at the top. He could a little bit more. He come, a come. One of the best things about the Retool Fitter Network is that we welcome open communication about different fit philosophies. And while application may differ from fitter to fitter, the robust amount of Retool 3D data provides a common foundation which is quickly becoming a standardized numerical language in which fitters can now effectively compare and contrast results. Since its launch in November 2007, Retool has empowered bike fitters with the gold standard of 3D cycling gait data acquisition technology and the rave reviews have poured in from around the globe. However, for the few of us around the Boulder, Colorado-based Retool headquarters, we have been extremely pumped to show you our next generation 3D motion capture software package. It is our pleasure to introduce Retool 2009. <laughs> Retool's first hardware accessory, the Zin, is a handheld wand-like probe which uses the Retool system to digitize bicycle geometry in minutes. The Zin marries the bicycle geometry and setup data with the rider's biomechanical fit data. The bike fitter's logo and contact information is on top of every fit and bike setup report given to the rider, and the Retool, of course, saves the digital profile on your PC's hard drive which is also generally less than 2 megabytes. Retool's in-house bike fitter, biomechanist Todd Carver, provides training and support for the network of Retool fitters. Here is Todd talking about Retool's new stroke intelligence. Hey everybody, my name is Todd Carver. I'm here this morning at Retool Studios in Boulder, Colorado, talking about some of our new technological advances for 2009. Uh, we have a brand new report that we have just put out, and we also have some new processing techniques that I'm going to talk about real briefly before I talk about the new report. Um, our new technique for 2009 is called stroke intelligence. What this basically is is post-processing, but it's post-processing that you will not have to do as a user. Uh, so this all goes on in the background while the system's running. Um, stroke intelligence means that um, it will average events at certain points in the pedal stroke throughout the data capture period. So an example of this would be a knee angle. Uh, perhaps the knee angle flexion or knee angle extension. So the top of the pedal stroke or the bottom of the pedal stroke, that is an event. Now with stroke intelligence, that event is averaged throughout the data capture period. So if you capture your data for 15 seconds, the knee angles now represent an average of how many times that event occurs throughout the capture period. What it, what it does for the fitter is it gives you a more realistic idea of what is happening on the bike um, and what is happening on the road. Because we all know when riders ride on the road, they do change, change a lot as the workload and cadence changes, and that could change the angle measurements. So now that we're taking rolling averages of that, it gives you a more realistic uh, measurement. Okay, um, we also want to talk about some of the new measurements that we've put into the report for 2009. Uh, so we have some new um, sagittal plane measurements 
and some new frontal plane measurements. Hi, I'm Cliff Sims with Retool. And I just want to take a few moments to talk about some of the key differences and advantages that our new stroke intelligence way of calculating the measurements for the rider is really helpful for the fitter. Let's look at an example of how stroke intelligence with just one measurement can really make a difference and how it's different than the other systems that are available. Take, take for example, knee before foot. One of the things we offer is the system looks for when the rider's leg is coming down and the forwardmost point on the crank angle, forwardmost point of the pedal, and it compares that foot location to where the knee is and does a horizontal calculation measurement. But because we always know where the foot is, the system will actually find the point at which the crank angle is exactly horizontal. Now all systems have a certain refresh rate or a capture frequency. Uh, and the Retool is no exception, just like a video camera, our system captures at a certain rate. Now there's a high chance that as you're capturing multiple times, now this is, now we're talking in, micro, you know, in milliseconds here, we're not talking large amounts of time, but it is very possible that at the moment that we capture uh, the data point closest to when the pedal is at the three o'clock position, that we're capturing either just before or just after. Now what we want to do is we'll actually use the 3D data that we have to actually interpolate the exact point of which the pedal is completely horizontal because we can use the points before and the points after because we have all that 3D data at our disposal to actually capture that exact moment when the pedal is flat. This increases the accuracy of what we're doing. We can also then take that and, and perform that calculation every single pedal stroke so that what you're doing is you're actually taking the the average of all the strokes during the recording and getting that power too because the rider will move subtly from stroke to stroke and you want to you want to include that in the actual total picture of what the rider is doing for any given measurement one of the things I want to show you right now is the brand new Retool wireless harness Basically the same functionality as you had before, except the 15-foot cable that used to come out of the bottom of this breakout box is now eliminated, and this box communicates wirelessly to the new base unit, which plugs into port A, just like the old wireless harness did. Now your rider is untethered. They can get off the bike and walk around if they need to. If you're using a rotating platform, there's no need to deal with any of the cables and the risk of having this long cable sucked into the rear wheel or anything like that wouldn't be a problem. So there, we have placed some electronics in here that communicate to the control unit. It's got a rechargeable battery and a port where you can recharge the battery. And you're off and running with brand new wireless harness. Retool's 2009 software package and hardware accessories are shipping now. Contact Retool to get yours today.